All right. Well, moving on. Everyone's favorite meme stock that just won't die. Bed Bath and Beyond dropped like a rock yesterday. We were watching this get halted live at the close yesterday. Company announced oh, they have no resources to repay the amounts of credit facilities as JP Morgan handed down a default notice. Simon's not happy about this. Shares fell around 28% at the end of the day, as Bed Bath and Beyond noted in their 10Q filing. In addition to the company, uh, in addition, the company will continue to seek reductions in rental obligations with landlords in its determination of the appropriate footprint, seek additional debt or equity capital, reduce or delay the company's business activities and strategic initiatives, or sell assets. These measures may not be successful <laughs> okay <laughs> a little do tell a little dose of reality there mark are you able to track some money flow for these meme stock names as the reddit army tries to keep these doomed companies from dying yeah i mean they, they'll absolutely blow up um bloodbath is just uh you know it, the borrow rate on this thing is absolutely insane the fact that it is still trading where it is, is it just shows you that, you know, enough market participants can force something worthless to be perceived as having value for a very long time. Uh, but yes, we continue to see big downside in a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of these names like uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, AMC, there's been some, uh, you know, dollar, 50 cent, $2 put buyers. Um, I still think AMC has as a tough slug ahead of them, and uh, and yeah, you know, the, the issue yeah. is you you see calls blow up because I don't understand why someone would be continue to short a stock that's two dollars and fifty two cents, but there are some big players in the street that continue to allow that type of play to happen um, to get you know too much short interest. And it just opens himself up to this this Reddit army. And really, the Reddit army is not the Reddit army. There's a few people in the Reddit army. And then it's names like Citadel that kind of figured out that they can shove this up some other hedge funds, you know what, and 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 start buying the stock up with the with the Redditors. Because institutional money, really, and algo money pushing it once they see a little bit of a bid from the Redditors. Yeah. Yeah. Good point, Mark. Uh, Kenny, real quick, before we get to volume profiles by request, what were you seeing with uh, Bed Bath & Beyond yesterday with the VWAPians? I, 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 like I said last week, I banned the stock. I'm not interested in Bed Bath & Beyond anymore. I went over three, I think it was like a week and a half ago. I took it off my, I took it off my watch list. I took it off my scanners. It is dead to me. Uh, but what's not dead to me is this Intel doing exactly what the VWAPians hoped. And I'm going to tell you about Phantom Prince, people. If you don't believe in the Matrix yet, look at the high of the day at 2743. That's our number. But if you're looking at these little wicks, these are usually anomalies. But today, they were giving us the hint that Intel just wanted to go to this price. Look, it's spiked here. These are fake spikes. But once it got over the VWAP, it did go to that exact price. I don't know what to make of it, but I, I've seen that happen. This used to be one of those glitches that I started picking up on back when we finally went to decimalization. I haven't seen one that, that really just basically told us where the stock was going, and it just actually went there in reality because these were all fake, but there was something going on, but the VWAPians don't care. We buy the stock because it broke VWAP, and look what it did. And if you had 1,000 shares of this, like most day traders, we're buying 1,000 shares of anything under 30, Here's your 300 bucks for the day. Congratulations, day's paid. Let's go to sleep. Boom. Cha-ching. Hey, let's And if get you to can some tell more. me how many different pairs of sunglasses I wore this morning, I will give you a $10 gift card because I have one left. Four. And if you can name that. No, don't give it away. Oh, what? I've been watching. Gift cards. We give $10 gift cards away all day at the, the Warlock Room. All right, guys, be careful. I can use a $10 gift card. 